news. Great, man. There's a new warning tonight of more power shortages in the years to come, linked to the closure of older power plants and the slow progress in building new ones. The BBC has seen a report commissioned for the Prime Minister to be published tomorrow, which spells out the risks of power cuts. Just last week, the National Grid, which operates Britain's electricity network, was warning of a higher risk of blackouts this winter. Our industry correspondent, John Moylan, has this story. He reports from one power station in Oxfordshire. Didcot Power Station has helped keep the lights on across Britain for more than four decades. But in March, this coal-fired plant closed. The newer gas plant is also struggling. Over there is an old coal plant, which really should be running flat out, but isn't, because of EU directives on pollution. Over here is a gas plant built to run flat out, but now because gas is more expensive, it's only running half the time. John Roberts used to run one of Britain's biggest firms, United Utilities. He's overseen a report which will make grim reading for the Prime Minister. If we see things that have happened in the past, like cold winters, like major plant failures, if they come together in the future and the resilience isn't there in the system, then we're going to have power shortages. These power stations have closed or planned to shut in the coming years. It means the buffer between the electricity supply and demand has fallen from 16% two years ago to just 5% this winter. It could hit 2% by the middle of the decade. The government first got sight of this report back in June. It will now be published tomorrow, more than three months later. Now, the government insists that since then, it has announced measures to ensure there's enough generation to see us through the coming winters. The big question is, though, is that enough? One plan involves paying firms to shut down when demand is high on winter evenings. But this major user of electricity says this amounts to short-term crisis management. Very necessary solution is to increase the capacity. Um, these short-term tactics might help us to manage the crisis, but they don't solve the crisis. The government says its energy bill will deliver the investment that's needed. Well, let me just reassure you, the lights are not going to go out. Um, but there will be a tight tightness in supply if nothing is done. But stuff is being done. We've opened six new gas plants already. Another is being built. You're going to hear very soon about our investment in new nuclear stations. Tomorrow there's expected to be news of Chinese investment in the nuclear sector, but that won't prevent Britain's looming energy crunch. John Moynan, BBC News. Now, millions of people... Uh, are